Let's determine the mass of one atom of chlorine, that's Cl. And really, all we're doing is we're taking the molar mass, or in this case, we're taking the atomic mass, since it's an atom, and we're dividing that by Avogadro's number. And that'll give us the mass of one atom of chlorine. This will be an average chlorine atom. So let's do it. You can think of this average atomic mass here as having the units of grams per mole. So we have 35.45 grams in one mole of chlorine. And we're going to use a conversion factor here because we know that one mole of any substance, that's Avogadro's number. So when we do the math, we have moles on the bottom and top. They'll cancel out. We'll be left with grams. Really, all we're doing is we're taking this average atomic mass here and dividing it by Avogadro's number. But this way we know we have the correct units. So when we divide 35.45 grams by Avogadro's number, we get 5.89 times 10 to the negative 23rd in the unit. That's going to be grams. If we wanted to find the mass of one atom of chlorine in kilograms, we would just divide 5.89 times 10 to the negative 23rd by 1,000. That would give us 5.89 times 10 to the negative 26. And this all makes sense. This should be a really small number. Atoms are small, so they should have a small mass. Finally, if you are given an isotope of chlorine, say you are given chlorine 37, in this case, instead of the average atomic mass here, we would take the mass number for the isotope and put that in and then do the math. That would give us the mass of one atom of the chlorine 37 isotope. This is Dr. B with the mass of one atom of chlorine. Thanks for watching.